As I mentioned in my Pokemon Rumble review, the basic mechanics of the Pokemon series show an almost uncanny knack for being adapted into new forms. So what would happen if you took a roguelike RPG and grafted a few hundred Pokemon into it? Instead of taking on the role of a trainer, guiding a team to victory, what if you were just one Pokemon among many, trying to carve out your place in the world, and or explore a few dungeons? In steps Chunsoft to do with Nintendo's famous franchise what they've done so many times before to series like Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, Gundam, heck even Twinbee. Twinbee! In all of these games, the basic mechanics are the same. Slash your way through randomly generated dungeons, collect loot and experience, and avoid death because death really sucks. The game opens with a personality test. Sure, I'm game. After answering a series of questions and having your aura scanned, which I never knew was in the DS functionality, but whatever, you learn which Pokemon best suits your personality. And then there's a shipwreck and you wake up on the beach as that Pokemon. Funny that. Fortunately, you get to pick which Pokemon you want to be teamed up with so you can cover your weaknesses. Your partner, who's a bit of a coward, has a shiny thing which is stolen by a couple poison-type jerks, and your first task is to get it back. Success means encouraging your partner to join the Explorer's Guild while you try to figure out a way to return to human form. Said guild is currently investigating the theft of some time gears which do... something. Time or whatnot. But that's for you to learn and them to explain. The meat and potatoes of the gameplay has your team, consisting of your Poke Avatar, your partner, and whichever have decided to join you, after you've beaten them into submission, of course, making your way through a series of dungeons full of loose cash, items of various descriptions, and hostile Pokemon. By either using a basic attack or one of your four special attacks, pulled directly from the classic series, you put down the threats and progress further and further downward. While most plot-centric missions culminate in a boss battle, other small jobs can be taken for cash and prizes. These range from escort missions to delivery operations to the elimination of problem Pokémon. Adding to the experience is an extensive multiplayer functionality both on and offline. Remember how I mentioned that death sucks? Well, not only is it a mission failure, you also lose all the items that you were carrying at the time. However, this penalty can be avoided by passing a code to a friend who can then carry out a mission to rescue you. Other missions can be opened by finding codes online which open new areas full of new Pokémon. In total, 491 critters are available. That's all of Generation 4's roster, save for Shaman and Arceus. While it's very different from the classic Pokémon formula, those familiar with the series will quickly take to their new surroundings. It's a brave new world, and while the mechanics are completely different, the goal is the same. To be the very best, like no one ever was. 